Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I actually, this isn't a haul because I didn't purchase anything I'm about to show you. This was stuff that was actually sent to me. I don't know if you all remember, but I told you guys that the owner of All Cosmetic Wholesale actually emailed me and out of the blue saw one of the reviews that I did on their site um, when I, because I, I purchase there personally all the time. So one of the reviews that I did or the hauls that I did on something that I purchased and she wrote me and was just like, thank you so much. Um, we like rewarding positive people. I'm positive. We didn't even know this, did we? But she said she wanted to send me out some things that were on my wish list because you can make a wish list. And I was like, wow okay so i did actually get that um package that she sent me which was so amazing and then i also got a package from beauty spin because i'm gonna be doing i'm gonna be attempting to do a really cool halloween tutorial for you guys so and i think i'm gonna put my spin on it and be kind of humorous with it too so i wanted to just show you some new things that i got um makeup wise just so i can incorporate them in my eye haul this even though technically it's not a haul. I didn't purchase it. I want to tell you guys that it was given to me by two different companies, but I want to be able to talk about these products. And if you stick to the end, you might just get something. You never know. You know how I am. Let's just get into it. So the first thing has absolutely nothing to do with either companies, but I just got it yesterday and I'm actually kind of excited about it and it has to do with makeup. So I wanted to talk to you guys about it. This is the Miss Lanston Better Skin Better Life. It's just something that I got, um, I believe from Thomason to review, but it's makeup like and it's one of those makeup remover thingies, cloth things. So I'm going to be trying this out, um, seeing how I feel about it. It kind of has like a weird leather smell to it, so I don't know. I mean, can you wash these before you actually use them? Because I think I want to. But it's just like a terry cloth, like a fleece almost, you know? So, I don't know. I never understood what the hype was about these just because I figured, well, why don't you just grab one of those cloths that you use for your kid when they're a baby and because it's the same material and take your makeup off with that. It's like, what, 10, 20 bucks cheaper? <laughs> I don't know. So, I may be proven wrong. We will see, but I thought it was a great item for an I hauled it, so I wanted to share. All right, so let's get into the items that the owner of All Cosmetics sent me. She sent me, like, she was just so generous, and I about cried because I was like, what, what, what? So the first thing she sent me was a, a Laura Geller product, which, as most of you know, I am completely obsessed with Laura Geller, like, completely obsessed. This is the Baked Powder in Ethereal, Ethereal Rose. I will attempt to put up, like, pictures and swatches and stuff like that of them. They're not going to be great pictures. I kind of did it on a whim late at night um, because I have been playing around with these products. I couldn't wait, you guys. So the product looks like this, and it's just a very, very light pink, but it has that Laura Geller sheen, like, highlight kind of incorporated in it. And I already have an opinion on this, um, and I mean, I have an opinion on a lot of it because I've been using a lot of it, but I'm not going to tell you until and I hauled it, which was the point of this whole video. So I got that. Then she sent me out a Makeup Forever blush, and this doesn't have a name, and I didn't realize they were so small either, but it looks like this, and in the swatch picture or the picture of the blush, it looks almost white. It is a very, very light pink. Um, it just says that it is number 97. So, I have to try this out. I mean, I have swatched it. I do have some opinions on it, first impression-wise, but I can't wait to start using it and see how I really feel about it. And then she actually sent me out a MAC nail polish, which if you follow me on Instagram, you already have seen how it looks. I'm wearing it today. Um, this is in Coffee Break, so a really, really nice fall color. I just couldn't wait, you guys. I mean, a MAC nail polish, I've never owned a MAC nail polish, ever. And, I mean, they even look amazing. And so, I, I'm not going to add this into an eye hold it. I'm just going to tell you that I love the formulation. Now, I have been told that the lighter colors can be like a three-coaters, and they are kind of crappy. But this is like a light brown, and it was two coats, and it was perfect. Such a smooth formula. So, I was actually really, really impressed with this. I don't know if I would ever purchase them for the full price, because, honestly, there are drugstores that match this formula to a T but it is really good and I do love it and I've been doing dishes and showering and this is barely chipping and I didn't even finish off the ends of my nails because I was in a hurry so I am pretty excited about this and it's just a great addition to my collection because I have space 
All right, and the last three things she sent me were palettes, and I was just like, oh, oh. The first one is from Cargo, and it's like this leather kind of palette, and it's kind of weighty, too. And I was like, whoa, this is their Vintage Escape palette. And you open it up, and it's got a mirror, and it looks like this. Ugh. That was a little dramatic, but still, the colors in this palette, come on, that'll work with me. The colors in this palette are me to a T, and they are fall colors. And I mean, I just love the names of them. Harvest Moon, Cuddle, Frolic, Cinnamon, Twigs, Black Crow, Chestnut, Rustic, Withered Leaves, Autumn, Hot Cocoa, and Crisp. You can't tell me this isn't a fall palette. It might be last year's or the year before palette, but I don't hate. And it comes with a really nice double-ended brush. And I used some of these today on my eye look that I'm wearing today. I used Autumn and Hot Cocoa, Withered Leaves, and Chestnut. And I, I we got to talk about this palette. We got to talk about it. The next palette is another cargo palette that she sent to me. And this is Shanghai Nights. And the colors on this... Oh, why is cargo not talked about enough? That's something that I want to know personally is I have a couple of cargo products that I've loved actually and you never hear anyone talking about them. So this is the palette. Look at the colors in this palette. Like, ah, look at this blue called Skyline. Oh, it's so beautiful and I hope my camera, I will smack my camera if it's not showing this right color. But the colors are so pretty. Um, most of them are shimmer glitter ones. I think pretty much all of them are actually. I think maybe this bund one is the only kind of matte. But I've been really into like shimmery shadows lately, especially for my lid. And I did use this one here called Hue or Who. It's H-U. I used that one and Neon. I used um, Hue on my lid and Neon as an eyebrow highlight. And this also comes with a double-ended brush, but... <sighs> And the last palette she sent me, I was actually pretty excited about because I've never had anything from this brand. It is the Australis? 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 I'm not sure how to say it. I know I'm messing it up as usual. But this is the Get the Look Pretty Pastels. So I was really, really excited. This was on my wish list because I've literally never tried anything from this brand. But I have heard things about them. It looks like this with a really cute, like, hot pink writing on it. And then you open it up. And this is what the palette looks like. Now, this is like a universal, like, traveling palette. It comes with a powder, which I'm guessing it is a face powder since it's so huge. A bronzer, a blush, and three neutral eyeshadows. So, I haven't really... I've swatched this, but I haven't really played around with it at all. So, I am excited to try this out and see how I like it. Because I've never used anything from this company at all. If you guys have, comment below and let me know. Alright, moving on to what Beauty Spin sent me. Now, they're doing a Halloween kind of collaboration with the people that um, they send PR to and stuff like that. And I was lucky enough to be chosen to do that. And I'm really nervous, you guys, because... I'm not the greatest at editing or doing those kind of spiffy Halloween tutorials or tutorials in general. So I'm hoping you guys like it and then it comes out how I want it to be. But it's going to be really fun. So the first thing that I got was the bed head. And this is just a maxed out massive hold hairspray, which I needed. And she actually sent extra to me, which I was so, so grateful for. And the reason why I love this brand is if you read the back of it, it says, quit your bitching. Thank you. The next thing she sent me was a perfume, and it looks like this, and it smells so good, and it actually reminds me of my mother. It smells so good, and it's so pretty. I'm not sure who it's by. It doesn't really say who it's by. Oh, wait, here it is. J. Del Pozo, um, but it's called Halloween, which I thought was so cool. So this will be incorporated in that tutorial, but it smells so good. They're having a huge Halloween, like fragrance sale so they wanted um a perfume included in that and oh. the next thing they sent me was a matte lipstick from a company i've never heard of and it's inoxa i don't know if you guys have ever heard of them this is called pink carnation now i have a picture of it and what it looks like i haven't played around with this either but i cannot wait and the next thing that they sent me, oh, I was so excited. I got my girls together. Another picture that was on Instagram. If you follow me, it is the Mary Luminizer. Now I have Betty and I have Cindy, I believe. It's Cindy, which is like kind of like the blush. And then Betty is the bronzer. Now I have the highlighter. I have heard such good things about this highlighter. And ooh, I'm wearing it today. And it's just insane. Like, it's insane. And I'm just so happy to have my girls together. 
The next thing was another lipstick, and this is from... Oh, oh, and this is from Colistar. Colistar? I'm not sure. I've never heard of this brand either, but I love the frosted packaging of the lipstick, and it's in Rosa. And it actually is like a frosted rose lipstick, and I'm not typically fond of frosted lipsticks, but I thought it would go good for the tutorial that I want to do. So I will let you guys know how this is, because... It wasn't exactly a cheap lipstick, so I'm really excited to work with this and see how I like it. And the last thing was something I was so excited for you guys, the Bobbi Brown Shimmering Brick Palette. This one is in pink opal. Just the palette itself has this, like, iridescence to it, and I oh, I didn't know that it was a small, but I actually used um, this color here. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but I used that color there at the end for an inner corner highlight, and these are no joke, like, Wow. So I'm excited to try all of it out, try it different ways, and let you guys know how I like these products. I'm just so excited, and I'm so grateful that these companies sent me out these items. Um, especially the All Cosmetic Wholesale owner, she really did not have to do that. And that's what I'm talking about. That's what a company should do. You know, instead of harassing you because you give a negative review, they should search for positive reviews and reward the people that are talking about them without incentive. You know, I love All Cosmetic Wholesale, and I'll leave that website down below along with Beauty Spin, but All Cosmetic Wholesale is just my jam. Like, I can't afford high-end products. I just can't. I can't do that whole week after week buying new products or buying products whenever they come out. I'm just, and maybe that's why my channel doesn't grow, is because I can't afford those products. But, you know, when they send me out stuff for free, that's really how I get it, the chance to try out new things and review things for you guys. So I'm really, really appreciative that she somehow found me and that she just reached out. I mean, I was just grateful that she even emailed me and told me thank you. Like, I was like, oh my god, you know, the owner of my favorite online store just thanked me. You know, and then when she offered to send me stuff, I was just like, oh, freaking out. And I am so, so grateful. I hope that you know that, Sherry. I am beyond grateful. Thank you so much. I... Cannot wait to try all this out and let you guys know what I'm thinking about them. So if you guys have tried anything that I just um, hauled, leave me a comment down below. Let me know. And that is that. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> ah, just kidding. I totally forgot about what I wanted to do at the end of the video. <laughs> I completely forgot, you guys. Okay, so I didn't want to just, like, come on here and be like, ha, oh, look at all the stuff that I got. <laughs> you know, I did not want to do that at all. So I actually gathered up some goodies for a little giveaway for you guys. So I hope that this interests you. It will be U.S. only. You have to be 18 years or older. And I'm not going to run this very long. I actually might run it for maybe two weeks. I'll leave the end date down below along with the rules. Make sure that you follow the rules. But I just wanted to give back to you guys. You know, if I'm getting goodies, you're getting goodies. So let me show you what's in the giveaway. The first thing is a couple of Victoria's Secret products. And I really like Victoria's Secret products. When I first started my channel, Victoria's Secret was like one of the biggest giveaways I did. So the first thing is going to be their Glossy Tint Lip shine, Sheen. Shine, their Lip Sheen. And this is in Manic Pink, which I just thought was so good for me to give to you. Because, you know, bipolar, manic. The next thing is actually an item I did put in my giveaway when I first started my channel. And that is the Smoky Eyes. They give you everything everything that you need to do a smoky eye along with the instructions and I thought that would be really good for you guys because I know for a lot of you doing a smoky eye is just downright impossible you know you need step by step you have it right there at the top so I thought that you guys would appreciate that the next thing is some Misha house latex puff sponges this is a six piece set um this actually isn't that cheap but they they're just sponges that I would use to put on my foundation. You know, they're really, really good for you just getting a little bit damp and putting on your foundation. They work amazingly or working with any kind of cream product. So this is also in the giveaway. And then I did mention, I think in my product review video, that I was going to be giving away the Impress Nails. They did actually end up sending me out two more sets. So I have the original two sets of nails. Um, I actually really, really ended up liking these. They did stick for me even without putting on just natural um, fake nails. 
nail glue. So I was really impressed. Um, I know a lot of people said they didn't care for these, but I actually really like them. And so I'm, these are the gel ones. So it looks like you have a gel manicure on and they come with little accents and everything. So you're going to get two packs of the regular size and then one pack of the medium size that are a little bit longer and wider in case you have bigger nails like I do. And these are a gorgeous like mint kind of turquoise with a flower design and little bow accents so you'll get three packs of these and then the last thing is the nanchi makeup belt it's like elegant diamond makeup belt brush thing this is for muas you know if you do makeup on other people i wasn't sure if anybody would be interested in it but i did pay for it myself um off from amazon review trader i paid about 17 bucks for it it's normally like 40 or 45 and i thought that it was actually a brush set and it was actually just a belt so i can't use it i don't want it laying around so i want to give it to you guys so if you guys are interested in any of the items in the giveaway just leave me a comment let me know you want to enter all the rules will be in the description box along with everything else you need and all the other information you'll need so if you guys want to enter go ahead and I'll leave the end date in there as well so this is actually the ending of my video I'm sorry about that you guys and I will see you in the next one bye